sugar. Hi, my name is Alena and I'm a medical physicist in Lund, Sweden. I'm going to tell you about my research, which is in the field of MRI. An MRI scanner is a large camera that is used in hospitals. It creates images of the inside of the body without the use of radiation. Instead, a strong magnet and radio waves are used. When a doctor suspects that a patient has a brain tumor, MRI is an important tool to visualize and diagnose. To make it easier to see the tumor, a contrast agent is usually given to the patient with an injection. The contrast agent will circulate in the blood and make regions that contain a lot of blood, like tumors, visible. The contrast agents are commonly used and generally very safe but can in rare cases cause allergic reactions. Since it leaves the body through the urine, it's not good to use it in patients who have bad kidneys. Therefore, scientists are trying to come up with methods that use natural stuff as contrast agents. That's what we're doing. Instead of using a regular MRI contrast agent, we have a method called CESP MRI that allows us to use normal sugar instead. What would you rather eat? A piece of chocolate or a pill? The patient is fasting before the cyst scan, so when they arrive, their blood sugar levels are low and stable. And we control this by taking a blood sample. We start to take images, and after a couple of minutes, we inject sugar in their arm. The sugar will then distribute in the blood, and the blood sugar level will rise. If we use the cyst imaging method, the MR signal will change in regions where the sugar concentration is high, and this will lead to a small change in the images in blood-rich regions. We collect blood samples during the whole scan, we analyze them and then we can see how the blood sugar level changes over time, and it can look like this. If we also look in blood vessels in the cest image, we can see how the MR signal changes after the sugar injection, like this. If we look at these two changes together, we can see that they often follow the same pattern. This information might help in distinguishing tumors from normal tissue and to identify different tumor types. In the future, the CEST method might become a great alternative to conventional methods, since sugar is something normal that most of us eat every day and that our bodies can take care of afterwards. Thank you for listening.